to be a fake ass Charlemagne. Some donkey today just saw themselves. I've been watching Charlemagne. I was ready for you. Comic donkey. I never heard of a donkey the other day. What is it? Comic donkey. Say it again, Charlemagne. I'm a donkey. Yes. You are a donkey. I'll show you how to act a donkey. Everything that Charlemagne is saying is true. Donkey today for Tuesday, January 30th goes to a Chicago man named Muhammad Warku. I think I pronounced his name right. So to everybody in Chicago. Now, this is a very interesting story to me because a motto that I live by is something my <clears throat> grandmother and mother always told me. And that is manners will take you where money won't. I believe that wholeheartedly. I think that it costs nothing to be kind. And people will always remember how you made them feel. OK, people will forget things you did. They will forget things you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Remember that. OK, when I tell you this story, I tell all the youngins around me, all my nieces and nephews, when you're working with people, what you want to be said about you when you leave them is that you are a pleasure to work with. Because once again, manners will take you where money won't. That's right. <clears throat> Bad manners close open doors. Good manners will make you matter in life. Your manners open doors that, you know, your beauty can not open and, and buys you things your money can. not OK, and this is. Brother Muhammad Work, who clearly believes the same. See, Muhammad is a bank robber, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I can confidently call him a bank robber because he robbed two banks. OK, once is a coincidence, twice is a pattern. And he did it twice, but he didn't just do it. See, he walked into one bank with a note that said, pay it back soon. And then less than 72 hours after he was acquitted of uh, and this was less than 72 hours after he was acquitted of committing a similar bank robbery. OK, gather around. Let me tell you the story. See, two years ago, Muhammad work who walked into a local bank and pressed a note against the glass that read, give me the money, please. Thank you. And he left with five hundred and ninety five dollars. He was found about a half hour later with about one hundred dollars less in the note. That said, give me the money, please. Thank you. Still in his possession. OK, but let me tell you why our court system is flawed, because in court, work whose attorney argued that even though he committed a crime, it did not amount to robbery because she said robbery involves stealing something by force or intimidation. So his attorney, Mary Judge, claimed there was no implicit or explicit threats of any kind. Who knew you could go into a bank? Just be nice. Just be polite and ask for what you want and you shall receive it. Well, look at this. If you have ever been refused credit or a loan, all you had to do was be nice. If you got a history of mispayments or possible fraudulent activity on your life, don't worry about it. You can still get a loan. Just smile and say, give me all the money, please. OK, by the way, a jury agreed with his lawyer. <laughs> Work who, who's 31 years old, was released from custody this past Friday. So on Monday afternoon, armed with his new knowledge of the judicial system, empowered by the fact that he didn't do anything wrong because he was nice about it. He then walked into another bank and handed an employee a note that said, please give me the money. I'll pay it back soon. Banker's GIF. Yes, G-I-F-E. I don't know if he was trying to spell give or gift, but he said Banker's GIF, G-I-F-E. Uh, I, I don't know what he meant. <laughs> was it gift to give? Anyway, Banker's GIF me uh, in advance. Well, it worked again. And the bank teller gave work who more than two thousand dollars and allowed him to walk out before calling the police. First of all, drop on the clues bomb for that bank teller. I'm so glad you didn't try to be a hero because that bank ain't dying for you. OK, Chase is simply the name of a bank. It is not an action you should do when someone robs one. OK, just let them walk away. Now, let me continue to explain this story. The teller described work who is wearing a surgical mask, neon green gloves and a neon green winter cap. Investigators later found surveillance footage of a man wearing, guess what? <laughs> the green hat, the gloves and buying clothing in a backpack at a nearby Target store. So they arrested him just about half an hour uh, after the alleged robbery with two hundred dollars less than what he had been given at the bank. OK, you know how I know Muhammad doesn't think he's committing any crimes because in both cases, he didn't try to get rid of any evidence. Still wearing the clothes he committed the crime in, still holding on to the note that he used to commit the crime. And now he is set to be charged with both bank robbery and bank theft, which do not require force or intimidation. His lawyer who got him off initially married judge says that this is a more appropriate charging decision. In fact, she said because of the jury's not guilty verdict, I believe the government is now charging both bank robbery and bank theft in a case where there is not evidence of force or threat of force. Um, hmm. I think they have to throw the book at the man simply because you have to make an example 
Are you going to have a generation of polite, well-mannered crooks, right? Thinking they can get away with crimes simply by saying please and thank you. And that's not how any of this works. Because here's the thing, people. Judge others on how they act, not what they say. Folks can say anything. Remember what I said earlier. People will forget, you know, uh, what you said. OK, but they won't forget how you made them feel. You have to follow that up with actions if you have manners and you say please and thank you, but then do something foul. That's not good manners. OK, having good manners, being polite, helpful and respectful. The others shows you have self-respect, but robbing someone after you say please and thank you shows you do not. Please give Muhammad work who the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey. Of the day, Ooh, you are the donkey. Mm. Of the day, it's kind of like when folks say no disrespect, but but I think instead respect. of saying no disrespect, you should just be like, Please, may I disrespect you? Please, may I please disrespect you? I'll apologize for it later. <laughs> no. That's what it feels like. Mm. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Yes. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.